This is an AQA Psychology GCSE revision video for the paper one topic of development with a specific focus on the Naughty Teddy study, which is about Piaget's concept of conservation. So McGarrickle and Donaldson conducted a study um, into conservation. This is a key study, which means you could be given a nine mark question like describe and evaluate McGarrigal and Donaldson's study. So you will need to know the aim, procedure, findings and conclusion of the study and be able to produce at least two strong evaluation paragraphs. So let's have a look then at the aim, procedure, findings and conclusion of this study. So the aim was to see whether children would be able to conserve if the change to the row of counters was accidental and not deliberate. So the sample consisted of 80 children from Edinburgh in Scotland. 40 were nursery age of four years and 40 were from the same primary school and they were five years old. So the children were introduced to the Naughty Teddy and they were told Naughty Teddy is likely to escape from his box and mess up games. So the procedure was the same as Piaget with the counters task. So the counters laid out into different formats. Um, but instead of the adult moving the counters, the Naughty Teddy escaped from his toy box and messed up the counters. So before and after the counters were changed, the children were asked the same question. Is there, are there more counters here or here or are they both the same number? So within these two separate rows of counters. The findings were that 33 out of the 80 children gave the correct answer if it was changed by an adult. So that's without the naughty teddy. Whereas much more, so 54 out of 80 compared to 33, gave the correct answer if Naughty Teddy changed the counters accidentally. And therefore, the conclusion of the study is that children below the age of seven, which is below the age Piaget suggested, can conserve if the situation is accidental. So when Naughty Teddy came along and messed up the counters, more children under the age of seven were able to conserve, which goes against Piaget's theory and findings because only 16% were able to give the correct answer in Piaget's original study. So this suggests that Piaget's method underestimated what children below the age of seven can do, which is a weakness of Piaget's theory. But also the primary school children did better at conservation in this task than the nursery school children. So it does support Piaget's claim that children's cognitive development gets better as they get older. And so that this can be used as a strength of Piaget's theory. Moving on to evaluating this study using grave and point evidence conclude paragraphs. So I'm going to put three weaknesses on the screen and it's an opportunity for you to pause the video and to think about the uh, how you would develop these evaluation points. And in five seconds, I will go through the answers. So the children were tested by an adult stranger in an unusual setting. And so if they were tested by someone they're familiar with, maybe a teacher or a parent, then more children between the age of four and six would be able to conserve like Piaget thought. So there's issues with how the study was carried out. Also, the study has sample bias because all of the children were from Scotland and the same area in Edinburgh. And so the reason that these children did better might be due to differences in their educational background. It might be due to the fact that they go to school in Scotland and you might not necessarily find these results for English children, Welsh children or Chinese children. And then lastly, over 30 percent of children still fail to conserve with the naughty teddy, which shows that there should be individual differences that should be taken into account because Actually, what McGarrigal and Donaldson are suggesting is that all children would be able to conserve if the change is accidental. But 30% not being able to conserve is a large number, so it goes against their findings and therefore is a criticism of the study. So that is the key study of McGarrigal and Donaldson's naughty teddy. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful.